you are facing sexual charges in Sweden and yet you portray yourself very much as a defender of freedom of speech. However, the two issues are unrelated, aren't they? My goodness. I've heard about the BBC being biased and pushing wars in Iraq and Afghanistan and now in Syria, but this is completely absurd. I have not been charged with an offence in Sweden. Uh, your particular framing of this issue completely ignores the fact that there has been an unprecedented, according to Australian diplomats, unprecedented investigation into WikiLeaks and me, a whole of government investigation in the United States, which at the beginning of this year had run in the FBI portion alone to 42,135 pages. That investigation and its abuses against our organisation and exjudicial right, yeah. financial Can, can I just interrupt you here? The so, attacks right. on our other people okay. is the reason that the Ecuadorian government formally found me to be a political refugee and gave me political asylum in the United Kingdom after the United Kingdom failed to protect me. But you are in the Ecuadorian embassy because you face, all right, I'm sorry, we'll say sexual allegations in Sweden and Britain wants to extradite you to Sweden and yet you are conflating that with the WikiLeaks case and whether you are indeed a champion of freedom of speech, freedom of expression. That's a fair point I'm putting to you, No, no, it? the BBC, as usual, trying to defend establishment its interests in Britain uh, and that Britain suffered an enormous loss of pride over this issue when it surrounded this embassy with police and threatened to violate the Vienna Convention just a few weeks before the killing of an ambassador in, in Libya, faced enormous condemnation around the world. Not a single state supported Britain's position in this. In fact, the OAS, UNISOR, ALBA, throughout Latin America condemned uh, what has happened here. And your audience knows these facts full well you yeah, know, but all right, but you still didn't answer London. my question, actually. And that is actually. why you cannot, you cannot act in a reasonable way. Yeah, but Furthermore, can I... Furthermore, as you, as you know, yeah. this interview is about the surveillance state and the promotion of this book, okay. a very important book, that I and three other people have written about the surveillance state. The terrible things that are occurring, including right here in Britain, we... with the Communications Data Act that intends to place mass interception devices in every single internet service provider yeah, all right. domestically Can, in this fine. country we'll talk about before them. Parliament we'll right We'll talk about now. that, but I should just say that you didn't address my question about the fact that you are conflating too, and I will just finish on the Swedish bit in this way and ask you, why don't you just simply go to Sweden to face whatever you have to face there, face the music there? Why not just do that? As you, as you know well, the Ecuadorian government has asked the Swedish government for assurances that I will not be exudated onto the United States. The Swedish government has broken every normal standard procedure that is used here in the EU when you want to question someone of coming to Well, I have to tell you that the Swedish video, government's video phone, position... Telephone, yeah. refu refused, to, ...refused to provide an explanation to the British courts as, as to why. The whole extradition act... Uh, that this is based upon, the EAW, is being thrown out uh, by David Cameron as, as a result of this injustice. You're giving very obfuscatory answers. Been condemned, I, uh, yeah. condemned in two academic articles J Julian Assange, by the Cambridge Julian Assange, Law we don't, Journal. We don't have a huge the amount of Cambridge time. Cambridge International Law Journal has condemned right. Can I just ask you, uh, because I'm giving you very Court simple questions. I'm sorry and to there interrupt you. there is not even an opportunity yeah, you're, to you're present giving... a single skerrick of evidence. Can I... Can I just correct something, though? The Swedish government's position, Carl Bildt, the foreign minister, says it is not for the Swedish government to decide whether you are extradited if you ever end up in Sweden to the United States. That's a matter for the Swedish courts and the judiciary in Sweden is, is simply, independent of the government. Untrue. I just have to put that it on the record, though. That's untrue. what Carl Bildt has said. The, the All right. government has a veto, a political veto, just yeah. like the political right, so veto we'll, that was used by I'll the take British that as government a no, then. in relation ship by Theresa May in relationship to the extradition of Gary McKinnon to the United States. There is a political veto in Sweden, just okay. like there is here. All right. It is able to be exercised Let in Sweden. The Swedish okay. government refuses to behave in a way that is at all yeah, normal, yeah. rational or reasonable. Right. And that Let is why I have been granted political asylum okay. after two months of investigation and consideration 
by the Foreign Ministry of Ecuador. All right, let's ask you about um, the case of Private Bradley Manning, the U.S. soldier who is in pretrial litigation at the moment in the United States, because it is alleged that he leaked classified information when he was working in intelligence near an office in Baghdad to WikiLeaks. I know you've never confirmed that, and, and this is all sub judice and so on, but it is reasonable to expect such a person to be put on trial, wouldn't you? No country on earth would want its military or classified information revealed in public. Bradley Manning, right now, this week, today, is testifying in court in the United States about his torture and abuse by the US government. The US government is on trial right now. The UN Special Rapporteur for Torture, Juan Mendez, investigated the nine-month detention and abuse of Bradley Manning and formally found the United Nations, formally found against the United States. It formally found that the United States had treated Bradley Manning in a manner which was akin to torture. The department, I have to, to well, him, the Department of Defense, can I just say that though, because you are making serious allegations. Him, in order to break him into forcing a confession against me and the WikiLeaks organization according to his own lawyers. That is where we are right now today. It's about time the BBC started taking freedom of the press seriously in the West. If it's to be treated at all credibly, we have a situation here of an extrajudicial application against right. journalists, a, an, arbitrary, an arbitrary new interpretation of the Espionage Act of the United States all right, can I just, again, again, can I just, national security can I just address what you just said the world, on, on, on the case of Britain, private, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I, I can't allow you to make comments to go unchallenged, you understand, and to say that the United States has tortured private well, Bradley Manning frankly, is a very audience, serious one. The, the top Pentagon law, sorry, no, it's not, but I, I just must give you the response. Well, no, you, Why uh, must you do that? Why must you be the an apologist? Pentagon... Why must you be an apologist? No, I'm not. Government? I'm telling you what the Pentagon's absurd. position it is. is. It is not proper journalism. It, it is, is not proper journalism to give to a balanced point of view. Apologies You're not letting me speak. Government. It is embarrassing. It's... Aren't you embarrassed to behave no, like I'm that? No, I'm not. I'm telling you that the Pentagon's top lawyer, Jay Johnson, has said, according to the U.S. Army Field Manual, torture... Are under... you speaking the no Pentagon's enhanced... talking points now? There are no enhanced interrogation techniques techniques that have been used against Private Bradley Manning. Yes, he was kept in isolation, but that does, is not tantamount to torture. So I just must correct that. Juan Mendes, well, the UN I'm Special sorry, Rapporteur on Torture, Special was Rapporteur offered access, torture was offered access to Private Bradley the Manning. Pentagon is going okay. to admit, admit no, but I'm just telling you, well, these coercive techniques. Juan, you mentioned Clinton's Juan Mendes, and he was offered access to Private Bradley issue. Manning. The entire Quantico base in Virginia right. closed over this issue. Can I just say, say this How to you, How can you say these Julian, things? But How Julian can you credibly say these I'm, things and pretend to be a journalist? Well, all right. <laughs> That's your opinion. But can I put this to you, that you are critical of a country like the United Kingdom, Sweden, the United States. And I put it to you that these are countries which are bastions of freedom of speech. These are not countries that are anti-democratic. Citizens' rights are upheld and so on. The rule of so law on. is in collapse in the West all over. Wake up. WikiLeaks as an organization has published material from over 120 countries and about every single country in this world, with no exceptions barred, not one. We have, I personally, erected legislation in Iceland, proposed a draft bill that was voted on unanimously before Parliament in Iceland to try and protect freedom of press across the world. There is no single biggest, there is no greater defender, institutional defender, of freedom of press and the rights for journalists to publish the truth than this organization. Okay, so we what? have fought with our lives for freedom of the press. Where do you take your fight now, Julian Assange? Because there you are, in the embassy of Ecuador. You can't stay there forever, can you? What happens next in your case? Well, what happens next in my case is that we write important books about the world which show how as the internet is moving on into every single society, it is also moving into a mass surveillance system. Now, there's not just me who's saying that. There are very fine re reporters uh, at the Washington Post with Top Secret America, fine reporters at the New Yorker who are saying exactly the same things. But this is a book that pulls it all together. All right. I, can I just very briefly, there have been reports that you are suffering from some kind of um, 
I don't know if you can hear me, some kind of um, infection, chronic lung, lung infection we've been heard. We take it that your health I is all in order. Look, the BBC has never cared about my health when I was in prison. It never cared about my health when I was under two years of house arrest. And now it cares about my health because this building is surrounded by police and apparently it hopes I will be forced out in a coughing fit to be arrested outside. 